What? What, what, what? What the hell is this? Harumph, 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 harumph. I didn't get a harumph out of that guy. Give the governor harumph. Harumph. You watch your ass. I see you shiver with anticipation. Let the show begin. Hey, hey, everybody, this is David Heretic coming at you with another edition of Reactions, Reviews, and Rants. And tonight. Tonight. Okay, we're coming back to Trident. Yes, indeed. Trident fans, feeling you. Come on now. Here we go. Before we go any further, for those of you who are feeling inclined to doing all of the clicks and the likes and the bibbity bibbity bop, do me a favor before you do all that stuff. Please watch the whole video first, okay? Give me a chance to actually earn those clicks and likes. Now, after the video's done, if you still feel like doing all those clicks and likes, then by all means, feel free to click away. This comes as a request from SMB, and this is actually one of SMB's three prioritized requests for the month of August for being a gold tier member on the Patreon page. So, here you go, SMB. Hope you enjoy the show, man. SMB wanted to see me react to this. It is Trident with a song called Kick-Ass. Now, have I heard the song before? No, I have not. To the best of my knowledge, this does not resonate with me in any way, shape, or form. However, there's always a possibility I may have heard the song in passing and I just don't realize it. So as always, if I start listening to the song and I suddenly go, wait, wait a second. I recognize this song. I'll let you know. That's the truth. You know me, I'm gonna be honest with you guys. This was posted by Blackboard, okay? And the video has 61,000 views. It'll get you there. Other than that, there's really nothing else left to say. Link to the original video will be down below in the video description for your viewing pleasure at your leisure. Let's get started. What do you say, are you ready? Are you ready? Because here we go. All right, here we go. Trident, kick-ass, blackboard version. Okay, whatever that means. All right, let's do this. All right, boy, let's do this. Four sharp four five flat seven root coming out of it. Yeah, that's it. Um chorus is catchy. Chorus is absolutely catchy. The chorus is the hook. It, it, it it's such a simple progression. We're talking about minor six to minor seven to root. That's it. That's literally it. 
Repeat. Minor six, minor seven, root. And then minor six, minor seven, root. Now, what's cool though is how they come out of it. Using the utilizing the four, the flat five, and the five to the flat seven to the root to, to come out of it. It's it's a nice transition. It really is. Right, right back into the main riff. Um it's simple, it's but like I've always said on the channel, simple can be effective when you do it properly. This is a good example of what I'm talking about. I mean, we're literally talking about three notes for the most part. Flat six, flat seven, root. Flat six, flat seven, root. Flat six, flat seven, root. And then transitioning out with the four flat five, five, flat seven to root. It's, it, it's a very easy progression to follow, but it's catchy. It's super catchy. Uh, the main riff is nice. It's solid. It's I'm not gonna sit here and say it's anything special, but it's it, it makes sense. It absolutely makes sense sonically. It's pleasing to the ear. I, I'm honestly I'm not I'm not saying this to be biased because I'm a bass player, but the most interesting thing happening within the song is the bass playing. If I'm being honest, that the bass player is moving around quite a bit, especially coming out of the first chorus you do the main riff and then going back into the verse the bass player takes over i mean the guitar lays out so it's up to the bass now to fill out the sound and the only way to do that is to be active so and she was absolutely active but she was active in a very tasteful way she wasn't going all over the place and doing a whole bunch of popping and slapping and stuff now she she kept it she kept it rudimentary fingering just nice easy pattern with the fingering with some great notational selection so got to give credit to her uh, the drumming, straight ahead. The drumming is very straight ahead. Nothing, nothing all that crazy about it, uh, but it, it sounds solid. And it sounds good, and whatever she's playing fits the context of the song. So, no problems. No problems at all. Let's finish this out, and we'll get to the review. Let me back up a little bit. I don't have any complaints about the song. I don't have anything, you know, bad to say about it. I don't have anything I would want to change. It sounds just fine to me. Um, it It's a straight ahead rocking tune. I mean, it, let's be honest here. There really isn't a whole lot uh, to talk about. I mean, this is, this is going to be a short review. It's not because I'm trying to, you know, trim the fat. It's just the, the fact of the matter is there's not a lot to talk about. So let me get my thoughts together and I'll see you in the review and we'll talk about it. Well, there you go, folks. That was Trident with Kick-Ass. This was a request from SMB and this was actually one of SMB's three prioritized requests for the month of August for being a gold tier member on the Patreon page. So there you go, SMB. Hope you enjoyed the show, man. I'm at a little bit of a loss for words because they're... <laughs> There's not a lot to talk about. There really isn't. So, I, I don't get me wrong. I, I'm not trying to. I'm not trying to shortchange anything. But I mean, I I just don't. 
I, I, I'm gonna just say what I need to say and I mean maybe maybe it might turn out longer I don't know but I mean as it stands right now I'm I'm thinking this is reviews plugging me under five minutes so we'll have to wait and see what happens I guess let's start off with the score on a scale of one to ten I'm gonna give that a 7.5 yep 7.5 I feel good about that score let me tell you why why okay first things first a 7.5 what does that mean well a 7.5 would translate to a really good scale rating so i think this was a really good song it would get four to five stars and a b plus letter grade so there you go 7.5 really good scale rating four to five stars and a b plus letter grade now how did i come up with this score <laughs> so glad you asked if you're gonna ask me if i would find this song impressive i'm gonna say no not as a whole there were a couple of things I thought were impressive, but the song as a whole, no, 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 no. The song as a whole was actually pretty simple. Uh, the, the, the chordal progression, very easy to follow. I could honestly, uh, if I were to listen to it one more time, I'd probably have it down. Um, that the, the, the chorus, without question, is the hook. Um, you know, utilizing the flat six to the flat seven to the root. I like that, that ascending line. I think it makes a lot of sense. Coming, but what really kind of impressed me about the course is how they came out of it. Uh, how easy would it have been to just go and do the six to the seven to the root again? How, how easy would that have been to transition out? It would have been, it would have made perfect sense that they had. Instead, they went with the four, the flat five to the five to the seven, and back into the root again. A nice transition, a, a, a transition that definitely signals the finality. This is it. This is the last measure or two of the, that is actually the last few measures, uh, the last two measures of the chorus, and then we're going to go right back into the main riff again. Um, it, it's a nice touch. It was definitely a nice touch. The other thing that was really impressive to me was the second verse. Guitar lays out, bass takes over. Doesn't happen too often. <laughs> Not as often as I think, I personally think it should. Me being a bass player, I'm biased, sue me. Um, but I, I, it was really well done, really well thought out, and I'm glad they did it because it really kind of made the song stand apart from a lot of other songs that have a very similar sound and a very similar feel. Um, it was nice to see the bass player get some activity, and she was active. She was moving around, but here's the thing. She was moving around melodically, but not technically. She wasn't sitting there relying on a whole bunch of tricks to make her stand out. Like, she didn't rely on popping and slapping, she wasn't relying on a whole bunch of hammer-ons and pull-offs. She didn't go to do a whole tapping thing. Would that have made it more impressive? Okay, here, here's the trade-off. Would it have made it more impressive from a technical standpoint? Yes, I think it would have. Would it have made the song sound better? No, I think if she had done all that, it would have gotten too busy, especially considering the fact that it wasn't really a bass solo. The vocals were the spotlight. The vocals were the focus the whole purpose of the bass playing there was to fill out the sound because there's no more guitar player she laid out so the bass has got to become more active to fill out the sound but if she had been popping and slapping and tapping and hammering on and pulling off and and using harm you know harmonics and stuff like that i think it would have become a distraction i think it would have taken away from the song as a whole for that section and probably would have stolen the spotlight from the vocals which you don't want to do so what she did may not have been the most impressive bass playing I've ever heard, but it was needed for the context of the song. So I'm glad she did what she did. It made perfect sense. Um, the other thing, don't think I didn't notice. Don't think I didn't notice during that guitar solo. It wasn't really much of a solo. She took over. Don't think I didn't notice the 7-4. I noticed the 7-4. It, it was interesting. Um, do I think it was necessary? I don't think it was necessary. I think they could have played straight ahead 4-4 all the way through, but I, 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 I can appreciate the fact that they stepped outside the box and went to 7-4. I, I, I appreciate it. So it, it was it was well received. Um, and it made sense. They made it work within the groove, so it was fine. Uh, vocally, it was good. It was solid. I got no issue with anything, anything, anything that she sang or, or, or the harmonies that were done. I got no issue with anything there. Um, the last chorus, before the last chorus, she had the little vocal break, and then we came into the chorus. I, I will say her vocal work did stand out there. 
comparatively to what she had done prior. So it was nice. It was a nice touch. Now, honestly, I have I have no complaints about this. Um, I, I'm also at the same time, though, not going to blow things out of proportion and sit here and pretend like I was amazed by everything I heard. No, I, I've heard I've heard try to do more impressive songs themselves in this. This this, this song to me, honestly, was just a very well done straight ahead rocker that was designed to get the crowd going, which I could see this. I can see this absolutely being played in a live setting. I can see the crowd responding very well to it. This could be a very good, high energy song to come. Maybe, I don't know, maybe, I don't know if Trident even has ballads. I don't know if they do, but this would be a great song to put after a ballad to get the crowd fired up again. Or if you're having a little bit of a lull, you know, in the middle of your show, you're halfway through, two thirds of the way through, you throw this song in there. It, it will bring the crowd up right away, I guarantee it. Not an impressive song by any stretch, but a well-written song that does the deed. So yeah, that's why I'm giving it a really good score of 7.5. I feel good about that score, and that's where we're gonna stay. So let's wrap everything up here in a nice shiny bow, shall we? We have a 7.5, which is a really good scale of rating, four to five stars and a B plus letter grade. Take your pick, I don't care, whichever one of those floats your boat. Final word, final score, I have spoken. Well, that's gonna do it for this edition of Reactions, Reviews, and Rants. Hope you all enjoyed the show. Hope that was able to entertain you. If I was able to put a smile on your face and brighten your day, then I did my job, and I'm so glad I could do it. If you guys feel like joining the fan base, go ahead and click on that button down there. If you guys want to like the video, go ahead and like the video. If you guys want to ring the bell, go ahead and ring the bell. It honestly doesn't make any difference at all to me, but if you guys feel like doing these things, well then by all means, feel free to do so. Well, that's gonna do it for tonight, folks. Thank you very much for watching. And as always, this is David Heretic signing off, reminding you to stay fabulous and support each other. Later, peace.